Now, another area where complementary coevolution comes into play is in physiologic reproductive isolation. Uh, sperm and egg receptors, there's receptors on sperms and eggs, and they need to fit each other. These receptors are species specific. A receptor of a human sperm will not match up with the receptor of a gerbil sperm. That's why, that's one of the blocks to interspecies mating. So, you have uh, a sperm and an egg. The receptors are made by the genes in the DNA. The genes are the A, G, C's, and T's, which are arranged specifically. The specific arrangements of these nucleotides have to be such that this matches this. If there's small deviations in the nucleotide arrangement, they will not fit, and you have extinction. I don't think it's possible. Evolution requires mutations to make new species. That's what they say. You get a new species from mutation. So if you have a mutation in the egg receptor, it will, will no longer fit the sperm receptor. And since there are ne nearly infinite number of mutations possible, a new sperm egg receptor match is unlikely. So if there's mutation in egg, there has to be some mutation in some specific spot here such that they fit. If they don't, it's extinct. Diagrammatically, evolutionists believe that there's some common ancestor that can mutate into different species. Sperm mutates, won't match the egg. Egg mutates, it won't match the sperm. Not only that, if for some reason you do get them to mate, you do get them to match, the corresponding male or female needs to have the mutation in the same reproductive period. It doesn't do any good if it mutates, the egg mutates 100 years after the sperm. And it has to be within the same geographic area. If an egg mutated across the world, it wouldn't do any good for that sperm that mutated. So it's added complexities that make it unbelievable. So complementary coevolution explains the boundary between micro and macro evolution. Since new biochemical and organ systems require statistically impossible biochemical arrangements of DNA nucleotides of multiple genes to yield fitting gene products. 